Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, whoever may never see this, this is Zephyr Dogs Under Faust, the whiff, come back at you with some more Warhammer 40k. Uh, I don't fucking feel good. Um, I think it's a combination of a little bit not sleeping well, mostly the fact that I ate a shit ton of super OD fi high fiber cereal earlier, like late last night, and then I had uh coffee today uh, I think they just put way too much powder in it for flavor and that is just fucking me up but I haven't puked yet um I also haven't had anything to really eat so I'm getting some rice but yeah so that's my day today uh but I'm gonna try and cover Slanesh demons they're still working on yellow scribe stuff I was shown a workaround via the support page, but um, I don't really want to wait for it because I don't. I could just talk about it on Battle Scribe. So this is the Slanesh Demon Army. Ironically, I didn't expect it to play out still like this, but I kind of like it how it is. So Shalaxi Hellbane, Keeper of Secrets, Celeski, the Vengeful Allegiance. Which fun fact? They're just like made fun of by other uh, Slanesh people. And so until they got just pissed and worked together and just like fuck people up in Slanesh's uh, court. Three contorted epitomies and six ten, man, ten girl squads at Demonettes, ten it squads. Um, and it's going to be two battalions for 2k and it's going to land you at one CP. So unlike the Korn, Nurgle, and Zinch, um, Zinch is the only one with real range for the most part. And then Korn can get to T9. Sorry, Nurgle gets to T9. And uh, Korn their uh, melee for the blood letters there's strength five I think they're plus one or strength user but it's minus three flat two this is strength four AP minus two for one so there's that's a thing but they get more attacks so and they go faster than uh, the corn blood letters so you're more likely to get these girls in the mail you call them girls get them into melee um, and they have more attacks now where that's valued is the AP minus 2 flat 1 so uh, if you go against some enemies that are gonna be uh, more susceptible to AT AP 2 versus AP 3 then you're gonna have more volume and it's just gonna be overall more efficient my dog just jumped for a second so what does this come down to I'd say like elite armies there's stuff that gets to involve 4 up you're going to get more attacks going in. Uh, unsure if this is better than Bloodletters. I think Bloodletters are generally better because they're Space Marine killers. Uh, I think overall these Demonettes are not that great. But the thing is, is you want to bring their HQs. Their HQs are great. The Contorted Epitomies, they're going to have... Uh, Herald of Slanesh, Horrible Fascination Aura, and Swallow Energy. So a two up didn't two up feel no pain on Mortal Wounds. Just insane against psychic nonsense. Um and they do eight attacks each, uh, with a malefic three plus one, minus two for three for strength five. So they are far more character killery than that, Space Marines, and Ravaging Claws for strength uh four minus two for flat two. So they are very good for their value. I think, well, actually, honestly, they're just good for their value. Uh, but some of the other HQ options, like, on, they're honestly worse. Uh, and they changed the Seeker Chariots as well. The big thing is, they, is between this and Corn and Nurgle, is it's not as tough as Corn. Sorry, Nurgle. God damn it, I'm tired and fucked up. Uh, and it's not as hard hitting as Corn, but you get more movement and, and more hits. So generally, against stuff that's strength three, sorry, toughness three, ugh, toughness three and one wounds, this is a better army. So against sisters or imperial guard spam, or ironically, demons, this is a better army to use. Um, and so if you're playing with people are gonna be happy running demons, you can run this as a meta pick against demons, and you should trade up because you need the extra volume of the attacks. The AP doesn't really matter and they're all mostly one wound anyway. So this is actually gonna trade up against demons, which is great. Uh, against a lot of other armies though, corn would normally be better. 
Um, but uh, this also moves a bit faster, so there's that. And while I'm not going to the stratagems and the warp options they're going to get, uh, warp storm, they're undoubtedly going to have something for like advanced charge or extra movement of charge or other nonsense. So they're going to have something to help with that. So that's going to be really nice or fight first, etc. I have no doubt. Um, and for what it's worth, honestly, because there's six characters versus the uh, five, but it's three bloodthirsters versus the two equivalents of bloodthirsters, which is Keeper of Secrets and Shalaxy, which is the named one. Uh, honestly, for what they bring in their kit, I think they break even. So the bloodthirster is T8 versus these girls or T or things, <laughs> guy women are T7. Boy, they hit. Uh, I don't know. They just go so much faster. They go so much faster, and they actually have some psychic stuff to like attack even more or auto hits, uh, get some more defensive bonuses. Honestly, so I'm gonna move what I said. I honestly, unless you have some really crazy combos. I think born the corn is better and this is the weakest uh, army for demons uh, again against certain matchups it's definitely stronger but generally I think this is the weaker army for a Katori epitomies you can have one with or all three with I well I'd have co uh, co Kako cacophonic choir and then one has phantasmagoria one has Pavane of Slanesh and one has delightful agonies of course, all the demonettes are going to have the icon instrument because it's free, yellow. Um, and then the Keeper's Secrets is going to have Starkle Frenzy, Insatiable Onslaught, Living Whip, and then they're going to have Symphony of Pain and the Forbidden Gem. That'll help them out. Shalaxi Hellbane is going to have Historical Frenzy, Living Whip, and uh, her Warlord trait. And then... Seleski is going to have Delightful Agonies and Symphony of Pain. And they're all just going to be character killy. So. I just keep coming back to like, oh, well, this, you know, it's better against characters. Well, yeah, but that's if you can get into the characters. And then honestly, the Blood Letters can also be just like really good against the characters. Uh, this is. Not. I think it's better than other armies right now whenever I do my tier list, my top 50 army video. Boy, I still think after looking at it, it's actually going to be the weakest of the five armies of demons. And I still haven't done the um, Bellacor. I'm still, I'm so excited to do Bellacor though. No idea. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I don't have anything else to say about it. I'm sorry, Slash Demons. I uh, messaged Matt, which is Magikarp. I've talked to him before, but he never got back to me. Uh, if you have some more thoughts on this, because I want to do them justice, but I think this is one of the more efficient ways to run them, unfortunately. Uh, comment down below. Like, share, subscribe if you like the content. I always like good and make sure comments. And, I don't know, game on. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.